pleased to say this year for the first time, we're able to go back and ask for a less a top-up than has been for the last five years. So I was quite pleased about our new construction that we've been able to do here. We have a board of seven people. It's uh, down from 14, which used to be the board here, and uh, it now excludes the Belfast City Councillors who used to sit on that board. It is manageable. I've had some input into the appointment of that board. Uh, we've got an architect, a benefactor, Jack Corrigan, who's donated $3 million worth of art into the centre. Uh, we've got an accountant, we've got a drama, get a drama teacher at one of the major schools here. We've got uh, Judith Ferber, who's the general manager of the, uh, of the Gold Pesto Centre. And uh, we have a lady who has run a significant national PR company. So it's a board that inter integrates itself and I think it is very productive. I'm also very pleased that I had the opportunity to appoint a new general manager at the Arts Centre, Destry Poyer. Destry came to us from, from the North Coast and uh, his input and involvement, particularly through his involvement in, uh, in various organisations on a national basis, has been able to deliver, I believe, significant changes into this organisation and those positive for the community. One of the areas that I have been involved in over the last uh, 18 months or so, has been on a committee that relates to how we look at the cultural precinct here. For those of you that don't know and haven't been uh, too involved, this area, which is called the Evendale Cultural Precinct, comprises 14.5 hectares, which people don't tend to relate that, but that's 145,000 square metres. That is the largest area of anything in Australia. It's three times the size of where the City Hall and King George Square in, in Brisbane is, to give you an idea, it covers three city blocks. So the capacity to develop a significant cultural precinct here is enormous. Huge roadblocks in front of us. It's going to cost a lot of money. It cost in the vicinity, the, the present ask of today's value is around $280 million. And by the time we get to, if we are going to build a building, which is the catalyst for that is the, the winning of the Commonwealth Games, uh, it could be significantly higher. But what it will do for the Gold Coast, it will engender huge economies, uh, sorry, huge benefits, fiscal benefits into, into this city. Uh, the present talk on terms of the people who do such studies is that the economic benefit related to the destruction of the Arts Centre or the Arts Precinct will be $1.3 billion into the economy of the Gold Coast. And the annual input into the Gold Coast and economic benefit terms will be $138 million a year. So you can see that's a significant contribution to the local economy. And it also will, in, will it inspire people to get involved in the culture itself. I'll just read out because my memory's not as good when it comes to these activities of what we'll go into or what we're hoping we'll go into because you never know until you get to building these things and the cost related to it. We are looking to uh, construct on this site, on these 14.5 hectares, an art gallery. The art gallery at the present time, for those of you who may have had a bit of in the visual arts, is 400 square metres here. We're looking to have an art gallery of 5,000 square metres in this city, which will probably put us into the league of GOMA, Gallery of Modern Art in Brisbane, for example, that size of activity. A drama theatre of 400 seats, we don't have a drama theatre at the present moment. A performing performance theatre, which is the Lyric Theatre, uh, we currently got 1,100 seats, we're looking to over 2,000 seats uh, in that theatre. Multi-purpose civic and concert hall, a discovery centre, movie image and film museum, cultural library and interpretive centre, <coughs> modified cinema complex, council administration offices, when I say that, that's not the house, thousands of bureaucrats, that's the civic centre of the city in terms of the mayoral chambers and what have you, it's, it's not that tough. Right? Uh, uh, entertainment hub with restaurants, cafes, an art focus, retail space, arts incubator, creative industry, multi-use and education spaces, general purpose craft rooms, and a thousand car parking spaces. So you can see, if we ever got that delivered to us, it would be a significant contribution to the city and, and perhaps uh, for the people in the film industry. 
What I said to Carolyn tonight is that a lot of us are going to get involved in endeavouring to make some achievements for the city because out of those things comes people coming to the city, consuming economic benefits in, into the city, and people like yourself involved in the film industry should see this as a magnificent opportunity to get involved in carving out your space within that cultural precinct. You've got to put your hands up, you've got to make noise, you've got to attend meetings, you've got to talk to council officers, and you've got to get yourself written onto the pages of these type of proposals that are there. And I believe you can do it. It just needs people getting off their butt, part of the expression. That's what it's all about, and getting your slice of the action. And I think you guys got a great future, and you should be an integral part of the culture of the city. So that's five minutes of baby more for the So thank you kindly. Appreciate it.